Check out this potent storm system over the North Pacific, specifically into the Bering Sea, where it has been impacting western Alaska. There has been waves reported out here by some buoys upwards of 40 to 50 feet. But here's the deal. This was actually a former typhoon. Now it is a potent storm system, and then it is continuing to tighten up the jet stream and will eventually impact our weather here on the first coast and keep Fiona offshore. Let me explain. Well, right now we are still seeing the storm system head off towards north. It was a typhoon east of Japan, north of Guam. It caused a dip in the jet stream here, which helped fuel up this potent storm system now hitting Alaska, one of the worst ones in over a decade out there. But with that, kind of like if you have a rope and you whip it and it causes ripples, that's what we're seeing as this system really tightens up the jet stream there, whips it. It's going to dig a trough into the eastern U.S. as we go ahead through the latter part of this week. And as Fiona starts to round the Bermuda High, that trough is going to help hook it and kick it off towards the east, keeping it away from the first coast. One of the reasons why as forecasters, we don't look at just what's happening here. We also like to see what's happening upstream in our long-term forecast. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta.